Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Normalness is Abnormal, day 17. Today we had a yard sale, and we realized that there are six different types of yard sailors. And we're going to talk about each different type, and so you can identify them next time you're selling by the a way, yard sale. By the way, this is sunburn from sitting outside in the sun for hours at the yard sale. So I'm not like blushing or anything. I don't blush at all. Um, Not that you ever um, blame your blushing on sunburn. No, never. Uh, first of all, we have the junk collector. Now everybody this, knows when this. Everybody does. Now, this person will come to a yard sale, and they will look through all the really nice items. And, and they will choose the broken Santa Christmas ornament. They will. They do it every time. Or And they will be like, how much do you want for this? And you're thinking, is this a joke? Just take it. You're like, 10 cents? And they're like, sold. <laughs> and everybody and knows they'll take them. a ton of stuff. And then yes. when you take it out to their car, your car, car is, is already piled up to, to the, the ceiling. <laughs> yes. Now, second, we have the speedy browser. This is one of the worst kinds of customers ever. And it doesn't make any yes. sense. They, what they do, they, they drive up, they park. They get, they get out, out of their car. before. Sometimes it's before both feet are even on the ground. They were back in their car and they're gone. And you're like, if, how did you what? even see? If you, could, if you couldn't see that it looked like this when you were driving past, how you can have you see any better when you're parked and still half in your car? Yeah, that those people are some of the most infuriating because if you're having a rough yard selling day like we were, you're like, yes, we got a customer. Wait, nope, nope never mind. They're back in the car and gone. Yes. Next we have the grandma. No, this no, is next one. We, no, next we... Oh, we, oh wait, yeah. Next, next we, we have the snail browser. They're this kind of opposite one. of the speedy yes. browser. What they do is they get out, they look, and, and they look, and they, and they look. look, and you're standing over there and you're thinking, there, we're going to make some big bucks on this one. And they'll pick stuff up. Uh, and they'll look at it and they'll ask open questions. things. Yes, ask how much you take for it, whatever. And you give and, them really good deals because you know yes. they're going to get a lot. And you just want to get rid of this and stuff. And then there's either two directions this goes. Either they buy a little tin with a picture of a snowman on it for 10 cents. Or they mm -hmm. buy nothing. And it, you're just like, you looked for 30 minutes. How can you not buy something? And Why did you waste 30 minutes of your life yes. here? It grows the point. Yeah. Maybe they just do it to be outside in the fresh air to get on our nerves. We don't know. So next is the grandma. Now this is one of the nicest, sweetest, kindest customers you ever have. Okay. And they are they are a pleasure to have, usually. But they hardly buy anything. And they nothing. talk forever. But they're they, really nice. They'll, they'll they're, have they're really so great sweet. conversations with you. For they'll a while. talk about your kids. They'll talk about their kids and grandkids. They'll ask questions. If they'll ask what church you go to, and you'll ask what church they go to, and they'll tell you. And maybe they'll talk for ten minutes, sometimes thirty minutes. If you're yeah, not having a busy 30. yard sale, yeah. If you're not having a busy yard sale, it can go for a long time. And, and then they buy one thing or yes. nothing, and they leave. Sometimes they spend like a dollar. That's normally yes. but five dollars would be about the max. For you one feel of those. happy because you just met a kind person, but you're kind of like, what? I'm having a yard sale. Yeah, we're not just standing out here to meet people, but they're nice. Yeah, they're and, not a bad yard sale. And at then all. there's the dreaded bargain hunter. Every they talk you down on everything. Nothing. None of the set prices are okay for them. They have to talk you down on everything. Even we have had them talk us down on something that was a quarter. Really, that has happened to us in our yard selling experiences. Twenty a quarter. And yeah, I think we went down to like ten cents because hey, we lost fifteen cents and we yeah. got rid of a little tin that was like this big. And occasionally they'll even try to confuse you and cheat you. They will put all their stuff in a pile, and they'll be like, so how much was this? And you'll be like, um, that was $2. They'll be like, how much is this? And you'll be like, that was a quarter. And they'll be like, how much is this? Well, that's a dollar. How much is this? That's 50 cents. And so then they'll go back to the beginning and so be like, so this is 50 cents, this is 25, this is 75 cents, and this is a dollar, no, no, right? No. And you're like, no, no, um, no. You've got and, then, and, and they then, will confuse you. They will try it deliberately. 
And Wait, it then it, if if it gets that bad, normally you get so fed up with them. They just like take it for ten dollars. Yeah, take it, and I'm like, did we kick? Did we kick those people out? Almost. We almost kicked them out once, or our aunt almost kicked them out, because they were like refused to like. So annoying. Like we refused to go down anymore. Really? Who has that much trouble spending a dollar extra? Fifty cents? Really? Who cares? And then last of all, number six, there is. The yard sailor's dream. These people are who you want at your yard sale. Yes, and there's not many of them, which is sad. But sometimes you can get several, multiple ones in the same yard sale. What they do is they get out of their car. They are really nice and friendly. But they don't talk too much. They don't talk too much. They don't take a bunch of your time. But they have nice conversation with you, but not so that you start getting annoyed and you're like, hey, we're having a yard sale. But or you don't get annoyed at the grandma normally, but no, yeah, but they don't talk near as much. He might ask a couple questions, maybe at, men, say a few friendly comments, but then go through and look at your stuff. And then they buy. They actually buy. And they buy the nice stuff and spend top dollar. They might, you might give Sometimes, them five bucks off their entire purchase because they spent thirty, forty dollars Sometimes but they don't they'll ask if you'll take a little less, which there is no problem no. with asking if you'll take a little less. Normally, yard sales are priced a little bit more than you actually have to have, so yeah. it really doesn't matter. But they are really nice. They buy some of your nicest stuff a lot of times. And a lot of times they'll spend a ton of money. Yes, they will come with bins and be like, okay, let's just fill up these bins, put everything in here. And sometimes they'll say, I want... All of your birdhouses, for example. And then, yes, today we had a lady who bought 26 birdhouses. And so those are the kind of yard sailors you really want and you look forward to them. But they are few and far between. So that is our talk and our thoughts on yard sales and yard sailors. Remember, kids, God made you special and he loves you very much. Goodbye.